We're here at the Rockstar in Malibu Canyon with pro motorcycle racer Eric Bostrom. He's built his custom bike, but so have I. Welcome to Rider Park. a masterpiece <laughs> I'm so impressed I'm a big fan of vintage motorbikes grew up in the 70s obviously watching Barry Sheen and it reminds me of Cork Ballington's motorcycle tell me more yeah that's exactly it I'm also a big big fan of like old bikes and whether it's British or Japanese or whatever and so this bike was after one of my heroes Gary Nixon also a great friend and unfortunately he passed away last year and it was right at the time that I was wanting to do kind of a cafe style project. And I thought, what better than to like kind of a Gary Nixon tribute of his old KR750 that he nearly won the world championship on. And it was a real challenge. We started off with a Z1000 and it's a, you know, it's a big motorcycle and the old bikes in the seventies were, you know, low slung and, and uh, really sleek and, and, and there wasn't much wiring to them. And so that was the biggest, probably the biggest hurdle is trying to get the bike authentic and like low and then also trying to get rid of as many wires as possible and then we just went into like putting on um, a few parts that were like you know great parts of the time and nowadays probably not so great but we have like this uh, old Gramica master cylinder out of the uh, 70s and a Tomaselli clutch perch off an old British bike. The tank and seat really is what makes this. <laughs> they really do set yeah. off the bike. It's Beautiful. like this big coffin style tank that the old bikes had, you know? Yeah, That's yeah. What, well, at least you, you can know. go for a picnic and this can be a table. <laughs> <laughs> is, I, the is. part that I love about this is like when people see me riding up, they're like, what the hell is he on? But when they see you ride up, they're like, this guy's a madman. Yeah, usually. And it's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I raced the CBR 600 for quite a while. And then I met some stunt guys and pretty much that's where it all went wrong. Spent a day trying to pull a 12 o'clock wheelie and it just ended in disaster and I crashed my bike and it put a big hole in the engine and it just sat there. So I destroyed my, my own uh -huh. ride. Well, basically, I, I did do the 12 o'clock wheelie. It's just that I wasn't on the bike when the bike did it. So I'd fallen off the back slightly beforehand. And it landed... I, think I remember doing that um, when I was like seven years old. <laughs> off the starting line on a CR60. It was similar. I asked my buddy Roland Sands, please design me a motorcycle. And I was like, oh, I like Mad Max and I love flat track. But we have a CBR 600. Well, Roland just went crazy. He drew me this amazing motorcycle and just from there it's evolved and this is what it is. And uh, realistically, very similar to your bike, just get rid of a lot of weight. So we just junked everything at the front end, came up with a small little number plate and then junked everything, <laughs> junked everything at the back. So it's, you know, no pillion, no nothing. And it's really raw, you know, but there's a lot of fun to be had uh, from this bike, you know, and I, and I love that from motorcycles in terms of, you know, I, it puts a smile on my face every time I ride it. That's my kind of favorite part of this project is like, when you buy a bike these days, they're, all, they're so good and you're like, well, you know, how do I put my personality yeah, into it? Yeah, exactly. And to look at you ride up on this bike, I'm like, that is Jamie. <laughs> I, I totally get it. And then I get a little closer to the bike and I see this story on the gas tank. Yeah. And it's like Mount Whitney here, mm -hmm. Death Valley there. You know, I mean, what else? Well, this but, was places I've gone on this motorcycle. So I went to Mount Whitney, Death Valley, you know, um, San Francisco and down Big Bridge, Sur. Yeah. And then there's a few little twists of my own, you know, in there yeah. as well. So. <laughs> Top of one 
of the most beautiful roads here in Malibu Canyon and it was a joy following you man it was absolutely beautiful just watching the seat and yeah. it was like <laughs> we're going back in time it was brilliant it, that's that's totally what you know this thing's all about is that like kind of almost awkward seating position and um, and yet you're know, like it kind of takes you back it transports you back yeah, in time because yeah. you're like man this isn't quite right but it feels pretty rad honestly and it and sounds great as well just there was a lot of corners but there was a little bit of distance now and again right. and it, you lit it up and it sounded fantastic it took off like a bullet oh it's a dream for sure so i'm uh really curious to jump on your bike <laughs> did you hear it i heard it it was intimidating <laughs> disappoint me with this motorcycle man that is fantastic and thank you for this the <laughs> ultimate hooligan machine i can't believe it you you one of the most sensible racers i know and you turn into a hooligan within seconds it's impossible not to you have all this leverage up here and you're just like rip, 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 rip. and the transitions are so fast and then the front wheel comes up so fast and and it's just a really easy bike to ride. It is. I like. I don't know if I should put my knee down, my foot down, the rear slide, the rear brake. Like, do oh, like oh, everything. yeah, yeah. You know, that's why I wanted to create was like this play bike, and also, what do you think of the sound? The sound is just. <laughs> but ra hasn't Race Tech done a great job yeah, with the suspension? Yeah, bike's sick. Like that's the thing is it it uh you know it it sucks up everything so well and and it's like i can see where i can make my bike better because like a little soft and you know a little gushy and this is this is how you want a bike to handle you know you want it to be accurate and just point 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 yeah so i got a little work to do on it <laughs> <laughs> well i loved riding your bike you taken me back to racing 252 strokes that my foot and my butt is so close to each other on this bike i'm 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 pinned already down. Yeah. i feel like i'm going down a straight and i'm around a corner it's real old school you know? it's a total speed racer cartoon all balled up but it is how most of the race bikes were back in the yeah. 60s and 70s yeah, isn't that amazing and just a single taco there just yeah. looking at you <laughs> you know obviously then you've got not you've got nothing other than just looking at the road ahead yeah, how did we hit the same theme and yet be so far apart you know yeah. we just have a tachometer on this yeah. bike and yeah i guess because you know in, in many ways we had a similar influence in our upbringing we both talked about Bar barry sheen and yeah. kenny roberts exactly. and those kind of influences and you know i was on one side of the pond and you're on the other but you know still the same sort of people influences in our early lives i think yeah okay all right you're gonna ride this or this i'll, I'll trade you up okay yeah <laughs> he doesn't like it <laughs> i'm just afraid i'm gonna like end up in shackles in this thing <laughs> so where are we man where have you brought us we took a short ride from Malibu over to simi and uh, we're over here to see a friend's collection of old vintage motocross bikes and oh. he was uh well has arrived hey, good mark how are you and Van Lillen. Yeah, and my dad and Uncle Ray. Yeah. Both those guys, but, um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, my. I'm so, shaking. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. So, wow. Jamie is like, do you know anybody that we could go look at their bike collection? I'm like, yeah, in fact, I do. <laughs> and uh, so, does it live up to expectations? Oh, everything today is way above expectations. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Wow. I've never seen a collection like this. It's a bit eclectic because it has, you know, some six days bikes, it has motocross bikes, it has some celebrity bikes, it has some desert bikes, and um, some with provenance and some without. This Husqvarna is a motion picture celebrity um, named James Colburn, and James Colburn was good friends with Steve McQueen. I really feel like I recognize this exact helmet from Take It to the Limit with, you know, Peter Starr's well, you film know, the, marriage. If and, you, and I think they had a weird mount where you could see his helmet, you could see his head, and he was racing through, you know, He the, was the, He the was the probably bushes. the greatest desert racer. I mean, just to give you a few stats, I think JN won the first Mexican 1000 with Malcolm Smith. So he won two Mexican 1000s, two Baja 500s, three Mint 400s, four Barstow de Vegas's in a row, you know, every year, 
and then he was number one plate holder in the South Southern California Desert District 37. I've never seen such a collection of vintage and classic bikes before. He's even more in here. But um, got both engines and. But I'm just looking at the photograph. The first I know they, they are actually doing that now and getting away with it. Yeah, yeah. they actually pull it back, but I don't think he. I don't think he got back from that one. Uh, no. It's really quite special. I remember the photos of this bike on the cover of Cyclones. <laughs> you, so you could just literally ride this on. You stroke. can sit on it. I don't think it'll come oh. off the stand. And you can put your feet in the skis and get an idea of how. And then you'd stand on the skis. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is insane. Again, Just a, first, I've never a, seen this. It's pretty so cool. Fix it. Oh, no, we're hitting ice. And where do you go to even start to find uh, documentation? Just some friends of mine. Um, one friend of mine has a lot of the um, original document invoices. If you can tie them together with the invoices, like here's one for one that belonged to Eakins. And it even has bud. Yeah. yeah. Eric, when I asked you to bring me over to see somebody with a few bikes, I never expected this, Mark. What a collection. Oh, thank you. This thank is you much, fantastic. Yeah. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I'm like it. a kid in a sweet <laughs> shop. I'm now way into vintage motorbikes. <laughs> I want to go vintage motocrossing, so yeah. I think it'd be a good time. You guys would enjoy it. It's, it's, um, they're nice bikes. And I want to get ride. back out in the desert mm -hmm. and go Keep... to some throttle. I'm, <laughs> I'm got... re-inspired too. We got plenty of old huskies. You can do that <laughs> on if you want to, Eric. Uh, I'm sure we could rig something up for you guys. Wow, wow. Absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you. My thank you very much. Very much. It's been a brilliant day. Uh, Eric, thank you, thank you guys for coming That's over. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. More than enjoyed. <laughs>